Good morning, folks. We've got a couple items to hit today. We'll go over what we're watching on the sun in the next few days. We'll see an ultra-dense exoplanet that defies many expectations. And we'll see the new estimate of the great Carrington event super flare. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we had only minor coronal surges and a few contained pops at the active regions. No significant solar flares and geomagnetic conditions have calmed from the solar storm over the weekend, leaving us to monitor the plasma filaments instead. These plasma structures in the corona are the top watch as we start the week here and will be monitored for eruptive activity as they turn in to face the Earth. There are several of them, but the biggest one is incoming there on the left side. It's about twice as big as the others. Up first in the articles, let's go to an exoplanet that defies expectation. They say it's about the size of Neptune but that it's denser than steel. Its mass is double that of any other known similarly sized planet. And their best guess is that it originates from a planetary collision that blasted away the gases and water, leaving only the denser materials behind. The top story today is one on the Carrington event super flare of 1859. It was the last super flare produced by the sun, and if it happened today, our way of life would be over. These are expected every 150 to 200 years on the sun. This one happened 164 years ago. The new estimates put it at about an X80 in terms of flare power with a possible range of X46 to X126. Their best estimate and their top estimate make it two to three times bigger than the largest flare we've ever seen with satellites, which was the X40 event back in 2004. We know it's only a matter of time before another one erupts. We are in the red zone time window for it right now and in the next 20 to 30 years, not to mention the bigger flare possibilities up to X1000 flare events. When it happens, every grid will catastrophically fail. There will be no power, no internet, no phones, no gas, no banks, nothing will be reset back to the basics. Given the way the world is going these days, it's a trade I'm betting some of you would take. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn a lot more in the resource links below the video in the description box. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.